I'm here to talk just a little bit about the hemp stock. We've been denied the permit to, to put on hemp stock this year, some of you probably know. So we uh, asked the court to review the decision-making process of the Park Service. It sounds to me like hearing Madeline here today, hearing her say, don't smoke marijuana, put your joint down. That doesn't sound like the Ma Madeline I know. It sounds to me like her free speech rights have been tampered with, just like Paul Stanford's were. We're told what to say from the stage now by the city. But we filed a suit for a writ of review and we argued it last week. Had a few, a little flurry of brief writing after that. We should get a decision next week whether there will be a hemp stock 2015 or not. But the reason it was denied is because some people smoked marijuana down on the waterfront. So that's probably why Madeline is having to warn you guys. The city can crack down on us anytime. Free speech in the state of Oregon, however, we have a constitutional amendment, a constitutional provision. It's not even an amendment. And there's a similar case under the federal law out of, out of Ferguson. It seemed that the police officers in Ferguson were telling people to move along, move along, move along, keep moving. You can't stand here and talk about the shootings. You can't talk about government. You can't talk about anything. Just keep moving, keep moving. So they sued in federal court, and just quite recently, last year, the federal court said, no, you can't make people just keep moving along. The reason is it doesn't work. It's not narrowly tailored to solve your problems. It just stops them talking, and you can't stop people from saying what they want to say. I'm hoping that that's the same result we'll have next week and that we'll all be volunteering and planning for hemp stock. Meanwhile, keep speaking, because that's what got us here. Thank you all.